Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to Miami, Florida, with Joey Surreal camera as he attempts to file a complaint on a security officer that, uh, well, he claims was rude to him about two or three weeks ago. But hey, what else is new with these clowns? I mean, it's easy enough to be rude to these SOBs who don't think that respect is a two-way street to begin with, that they should have all the respect in the world and none be given to anybody else. At any rate, he gets ignored at every turn and he gets all butthurt about it. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We're gonna see uh, how much of a hassle they gave me this time. All just because I want to file a complaint. This is what it takes. What's up, Joey? I, I just want to go inside, bro. I need to file a complaint. Uh, play inside? Yeah. floor? Huh? No floor? Yeah, fourth floor. Right, Hold up. Oh, Joey, I knew you were stupid, but I didn't know you were that stupid. You called this a Fourth Amendment violation? The Fourth Amendment covers unreasonable searches and seizures. It is perfectly reasonable to ask for ID when you're going to go into a secure part of the building of any building, especially when it comes to a police department, you dumbass. I mean, you think they'll just let any Tom, Dick, and Joey Surreal camera in without knowing who the hell they are? No, absolutely not. Oh, my, uh, here you go. A little longer than a few minutes later. And we're going to pick up the phone and call security because this is restricted. Okay. Now this is not working. You hear that? Really? All this for a complaint form? Or to file a complaint? Joey, how old are you? I mean, I grew up listening to that kind of signal all the time on old phones. That's what's called a busy signal. It means the phone that you're trying to reach is off the hook. What you got to do, basically, is you got to hang it up and try again in a couple minutes, and maybe somebody will be on the other line, unless they've gone to lunch. In which case, you most likely have to wait for them to get back from their scheduled meal anyway. They're still doing it. Okay, let's try this one. This one's ringing. Hi, how you doing? I'm up right here by the phones, or by the elevators. I need a supervisor. I need to file a complaint regarding a, a, one of the security guards here for your company. This is the third time I call. I come over here. I've been trying to file a complaint for quite a couple weeks now. Okay, they're transferring me right now. They must, they're not picking up their phone right now? Man, what... Anybody around here is fairly new to First Amendment auditing or frauditing, as we like to put it. This is one of the tactics of the First Amendment auditor. They file a complaint after complaint after complaint until they either get booted out of the building, trespassed, or get some go-away money. Now, most of the time, it just doesn't lead to anything but a trespass charge. But sometimes, like, uh, like a Long Island audit, you may get a few dollars here and there. Well, basically, this is a task that a, a lot of unemployable people like Joey Surreal Camera are capable of performing because, well, they have no other skills that they can use to get jobs. As you can see, that would be a real drain on taxpayer money right there if we have to continuously pay these idiots to uh, leave people alone. As, did I just speak to you? Oh, I'm sorry, because uh, they keep trying to transfer me to you. I'm, I'm right here on the floor and by the elevators. Uh, I'm, I try to pick up the security phone, but it's giving me a busy signal. Uh, this is the third time I come. I'm trying to file a complaint on one of the securities. Can I get a supervisor out here? This is where I was told to come. Uh, sure, I'll send somebody out. One minute. Awesome. Thank you, man. 
many, many minutes later. So, I don't know what's going on. This is, I don't have all day. I mean, I understand I can wait a bit, but do they do it on purpose? The police department does the same thing. Now, I know they're probably busy back there. I understand they're, they're not. I, I don't know exactly what their duties are as a, when they're working up in their offices. I have no idea. So. Yeah, Joey, you have no idea, do you? You don't know what it's like to have a real job where you have responsibilities out the ass. Because not everybody is a freeloading moron like you. There are people out there that try to be productive members of society and try to get something done for the world. Now, Joey, I know it's an alien concept to you, but please try to remember that you're not the most important person out there. But I think 30 minutes is kind of long, huh? Want to try again? Three, two, one, action. No, they're not answering. Great, nobody on the, at the desk. I got a question for you, uh, Joey. How well are you known around that part of Miami? Do they know you by your first name where they can just identify you right off the bat? Because that's not too good if they can do that, especially if you're known to be a whiny little punk complainer like yourself. Because if that's the reputation you've got for yourself in Miami, no wonder they don't want to help you out. Reputations precede each other, and if that's what you got as far as reputation goes, then, buddy, you did it yourself. Okay, now they're going to keep me here waiting with no answer now. Um, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Well, guys, stay tuned. Let's wait a little longer. Forty-five minutes, and I'm still here, so... Forty-five minutes of trying to file a complaint. That's forty-five minutes you could have uh, spent trying to look for a real job, but we all know that you can't find one because of your criminal record. Well, that's forty-five minutes you could have spent trying to earn money in a positive fashion at the very least. Wait, 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 but what am I saying? Uh, I don't think you have capacity to do anything positive for anybody. Okay, then carry on with wasting your uh, time because it's, at least it's not my time you're wasting. You took four minutes of my life and I want them back. Oh, I'd only waste them anyway. So, we're going to pick up this phone again. I don't have all day. I mean, 45 minutes of sitting here and then they don't answer. Let's try it again, guys. ringing wow look at this if for me I'd have left a long time ago but that's just me. I have better things I got to do because I do actually have a job and I have a life that I got to maintain. I mean, but Joey, I don't think he has a life or a job or anything like that. In fact, uh, he's either living off the dole right now with the government or he will be when he gets older and is not able to work anyway because of his age. But either way, he's always going to be a burden on the taxpayers no matter what. I'm having an issue here. Uh -huh. This is the third time I come. I've been trying to file a complaint on one of the security guards here on the fourth okay. floor. Two times, I've been, the first two times I came, they told me to come back. The, the supervisor's not there. And now right. I've been there for 45 minutes. Okay. I pick up that security phone three times. The first time they answered, they said, no, we'll be right out. 
I've been waiting there 45 minutes. I, I picked up three more times. They don't come out. They're ignoring my phone calls. Did you call the, the 311? Because I believe that's where you got to put the formal complaint. That then goes to a supervisor. And then they're I, the ones that call Because a couple months ago, I did a, I came up here. They told me to come to the fourth floor. I filed two complaints on, on two security guards. They were uh -huh. very rude. Valdez came out. Okay. And I filed it verbally uh -huh. through there. And he was that was cool. Okay. But I've been trying to file a complaint on a very crazy uh, security guard. Right, that went right. off on me. This is the third time I come. I've been trying to file a complaint for two weeks. And it appears that you've been trying to file a complaint for two weeks going to the wrong place. And this security guard right here has perhaps directed you to the right spot. So for two weeks now, you have been barking up the wrong pole and never asked anybody else where you should be going? That is pathetic, man. So you don't file complaints here then at all? Right. At all, at all. So I was lied to. Because if you come here, exactly, you're going straight to the source. And that's cool. that's messed up that they were ignoring my calls, man. They should have just told me that when I picked the but phone back up. When I went up there, there was nobody up there. Now, to be honest with you, there's two different exits, so they could have left me. They just left me there, like 45 minutes, like they just ne right. neglected well, me. I already did. I just waited a little longer up there, 45 right, minutes. Right. I'm like, yo, I don't got all day. I right, picked right. up three more times. No, no, boy. That That wasn't cool either. I no, wish no, I knew the no, person's yeah, name that was no, up there no, too. I filed a complaint on him too. Oh, now you're completely butthurt because you spent two weeks barking up the wrong tree because you were too stupid to go ask other people about how to file a complaint with this very police department. That is not on them. That is on you. So you want someone to blame? Go take a look in a mirror, buddy. So that's the mission that I've been going on. What's up, man? This is the mission that I'm trying to get to file complaints. Now I've been lied to, right? According to her, I mean, I'm trying. I mean, what else can I do? I mean, let's, we're gonna try the 311 uh, county number. We're gonna go ahead and do that. And we're gonna take it to the next, to the another step. We're gonna take, you know, follow another protocol, right? So I apologize, you guys. Uh, I'm trying to do this. Because that that FU security needs to be filed. A complaint needs to be filed on that guy. And well, there you have it. Little Joey Surreal Camera. Too stupid to figure out how to file a complaint properly. And really too stupid to ask questions as to how to do it and to begin with. I mean, come on now, Joey. The path to knowledge is asking the right questions. And if you fail to do that, then you will never gain the knowledge you seek. That is simple stuff. But hey, there has to be the idiots of the world, and Joey Surreal Camera is definitely one of those idiots. So at least we've got him to remind us of how stupid people can be. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.